Mathieu, what a score! Saturday night, Glasgow, thank you. Yes, welcome, welcome. Welcome along, the Hydro. Wow, this place. 16 nights I'm doing here, 16. Thank you, good people, for that, 16. One direction, only doing two. I'm doing 16. Get Harry Styles on the phone. All right, Kev, I in. Any chance you can tap is a score. <laughs> We're here. It is DVD night looking well. Everybody looking resplendent. You need to look your best Christmas day, sitting watching it, pausing it, trying to find yourself. <laughs> There's Big Gordon for next door. Who's that he's sitting beside? That's no Stacey. Big Gordo, the shagger. <laughs> the dark horse. <laughs> Well done for coming to something. Well done. Good of you. Well done. It's difficult coming to something. I don't underestimate for a second the challenges involved. It's a lot of effort. I don't think we ever take the time to show our appreciation for the heroes in there, the unsung heroes, people amongst you who organise these nights, people who know when shit goes on sale, <laughs> people who sit on Ticketmaster, Page cannot be displayed. <laughs> Server timed out. <laughs> the people who composed that original group text. <laughs> assembling the troops. The people who dared to dream that a night out could be possible. <laughs> Sitting, dealing with people's replies, trickling in, sucking at the enthusiasm. Oh, Kevin Bridges, oh, what night is it? Where is it? How much is it? What time does it start? <laughs> What time does it finish? Uh, who else is going? <laughs> who else is going? What a fucking snide inquiry. <laughs> That's when the organisers faced with the internal politics of the social circle. <laughs> Your night out needs a big name to confirm. <laughs> a headline act, an A-lister pal. A crackpot, disco, Rizo, Nasher, somebody that can turn your night out into four nights out. <laughs> ah, it's only wee Scobie gone so far. <laughs> I know he's a wee prick, but he'll drive. <laughs> Welcome along, front row. How we doing? You all right? Looking good. How you doing, sir? You all right, mate? You can reply, mate, it's live. It's not the fucking telly yet. <laughs> We're only making a DVD. It's not actually the DD's fist. That 3D telly's a fucking beauty. <laughs> good man. What's your name, sir? You're not telling me. All right, that's good. <laughs> What's his name, mate? Fucking grass him in since he's not telling me. <laughs> Johnny. Johnny. You settling for that, Johnny? All right, it's only a comedy show, Johnny. You're not getting booked by the police. It's just a wee. <laughs> Camera right on Johnny there. That's it, mate. You make him feel like shit for that. There we go. That's Johnny, everybody. <laughs> Tell your name to the character, Johnny. <laughs> Good man. Welcome along, Johnny. I like your night out. I'm, I'm getting to that age. I'm, I'm growing up. I've got mates. I'm getting married and having children. This is new to me. My life's changing. You don't get a night out as often. The weekend is no longer an excuse in itself. You don't get a night out, it's rare. But when, it, when they happen, it's a rollover and they go on far too long. <laughs> I don't think anybody can party with the newly married man, the new, the new father. That's, I, hear, I hear One Direction singing. They're gonna go crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs> until they see the sun and rappers singing, gonna party until six in the morning. All oh, these parties that have got scheduled end times. <laughs> That's not what happens when your mates start getting married and having children and you get a night out. They go on far too fucking long. People don't want to go back <laughs> to the life that they're creating for themselves. <laughs> Mayhem ensues at the suggestion of a six in the morning curfew. 
He's want to call it a night. Monty, fuck, man. One mere hour, the spar's open. We'll go and get cans. <laughs> the adult empty. It's a bleak affair. The empty. Ten years on. <laughs> Some paranoid wreck walking through your living room looking for a Nokia charger. Seventeen missed calls, I better fucking text her. <laughs> Highlights of a game of FIFA on the PlayStation that was finished about three hours ago. Still playing. <laughs> Two guys snorting cocaine, talking about a fight they had in primary school. Listen, I'm fucking glad we sorted that the night, bud. <laughs> Me and all, mate, I was out of order that playtime. I was out of order. 35 <laughs> year old guy still using expressions like playtime. <laughs> that was me, it was out of order, mate. I'm the one that kept throwing fizzy cola bottles at you. I knew. <laughs> You had to be seen to be doing something about that, mate. I understand. You, don't, you never need to call us a VL, but that was out of order on your part. <laughs> At six in the morning, Nokia guy arguing with his missus by text. I told you I was having a mad one. <laughs> his only justification for having a mad one. He fucking told her he was having a mad one. <laughs> and then staying on the offensive. I thought you were going to your mum's to watch Strictly anyway. <laughs> it's fucking six o'clock in the morning, Ryan. How the fuck am I supposed to know what time Strictly finishes? <laughs> then looking at the telly, looking at the PlayStation, thinking it's fucking Sky Sports. Here, when did Motherwell beat Columbia? <laughs> That's fucking some result for the well, isn't it? <laughs> Columbia have their full team playing, eh? <laughs> I wish I'd stuck money on that. Seven red cards, is there a bit of needle between the two? <laughs> Six in the morning. That's tough. Watching guys grow up against their will. Watching somebody going through an old VHS case that's been used as a joint rolling station for years. <laughs> Raking through the paraphernalia, trying to find something smokable. <laughs> there's a bit of green in there, I'll press my finger on that. <laughs> ah, there's plenty here, gentlemen, the night is but young. <laughs> ah, a bit of green stuff, tobacco, scrape that in, hells. There's always hells in the rolling tree. I thought, I'll put the pubes in, who gives a fuck? <laughs> Lying there in emotional purgatory, trying to get a knackered disposable lighter to work, the only lighter in the party. <laughs> Them big long flicks, I'm on your piece of shit. <laughs> Eventually, getting a bit of blue flame and going, yes. And then the S blows it straight back out again. <laughs> it's hard to watch a married man lighting a pube joint off the toaster. <laughs> <laughs> Do you take drugs, Johnny? <laughs> There's a cameraman, that's it. You hinder his future employment prospect. I'm only joking, I don't take drugs. I used, I used to smoke weed, Johnny. I used to smoke, I get, I get busted. You know how I get caught? We were having fajitas one Sunday as a family and I rolled a fucking belter. <laughs> and I aroused far too much suspicion. <laughs> From that day forward, I was under surveillance. It was evident I had obtained these skills elsewhere, no doubt through illicit activity, as this was the first time we had ever sampled Mexican cuisine as a family. 